Welcome back to another show and tell video. Today we're looking at an item from GunTech USA. And this is item number Tavor. Now I'm not sure if this product is still in production. It may be uh, now a collectible item. So let's go ahead and get a look at it. Um, you can see here on the packaging, the GunTech logo. Half by 28 for the thread pattern, made in USA, item number Tavor, image of a flag, barcode Tavor. Uh, here you can see price uh, suggestion at the time. This was obtained several years ago. Again, this may be out of production. So let's go ahead and set the packaging aside for now and give you a look at the shape of the item. So what this is, is a muzzle uh attachment device and it is basically a fake suppressor or fake moderator uh, because basically it is a tube of this diameter uh i believe half inch and uh, there are no baffles this is basically a straight tube all the way down end to end and you can see here, uh, it's actually just a large empty chamber with a smaller hole at this end. And what's interesting is that this is actually a slip over style of fake suppressor, as opposed to a fake suppressor that would mate at the barrel end here. And this would basically extend the length of the barrel. By slipping over the barrel, the barrel is actually within this device all the way up to the front where you can see the thread pattern here. So you're actually only increasing the length of your barrel by this uh, fractional amount of an inch uh, here, from here to here. You can see here some fake holes drilled. They only go as far down as about here. They don't pass through to anywhere. As you can see, there is no light passing through. The only passage is through that single hole right there. And again, just an empty chamber. Uh, marking wise, it does appear to have a, a little bit of a production flaw. It might be more ideal if the lettering was fully on the flat surface. But it is a clear print, so you can see it reads here, USS 1326521014, TAV-RA-1516, made in USA. So to simulate serial part numbers, etc., and point of origin. But again, it does appear that it was possibly missed the flat surface by a row. So when this was aligned uh, in the printing process it may have slipped out of rotation unless that is intentional in that case very cool i don't know so show you how this actually appears here's a sample barrel with half by 28 thread pattern at the end there and if you note uh the profile dimensions here when this threads this much of the barrel will be covered so to demonstrate off camera for terms of service give you an idea of what this looks like once it is attached onto there so you can see how now that portion of the barrel is now underneath here and now protrudes through the hole there. So you can see here, this is a 5.56 uh, by 45 NATO barrel an example there. And you can see that it just basically threads on and off and gives you that appearance of a mini can basically, on the end of your barrel, even though basically that's the same barrel sticking right out the end there. So this really serves 
no actual purpose except as a barrel weight and for cosmetic uh, appearances because in no way does the actual projectile through its pathway ever travel physically through the contents of the attachment. It actually emerges out the very end here. So never at any point does the... Uh, would a projectile actually be within the chamber itself? It's actually sleeved within the barrel. So kind of an interesting uh, design there for using uh, a slip-on muzzle attachment device and without actually increasing overall barrel length. And uh, would actually simulate a shorter barrel uh, setup while using a long barrel, if that makes any sense. So, taking a quick look at muzzle attachment device, a fake suppressor from GunTech USA, item number Tavor, possibly collectible now. But uh, GunTech USA does have a very large variety of items, so feel free to check them out. This has been another show and tell video. Feel free to check out other show and tell videos on the channel. We also do unboxing videos as well as a selection of book review and other media review items as well. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.